Hey everybody, hey it's the awesome Dan here and welcome to the Evil Within 2. So the Evil Within franchise is like one of those survival horror games that makes you have hope again for survival horror games. Like the first Evil Within, holy shit, like that game was terrifying and fuck like this, like whoo! That game was scary as shit, but the story was a tad bit confusing. Like I was it was on Bioshock Infinite kind of thing. It was on that level of like what the fuck's going on. We're like, okay, we know this weird like no demented dog is chasing after me, but what the fuck? Like, what the fuck's going on? Wait a minute, this guy's hunting me down, wait a minute, this guy's not hunting me down, wait, 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 the city of Manhattan's like all twisted and turned. What what fuck's going on? Like it's it was very confusing. And the only way I actually got to understand the story is that I had to actually watch like IGN's like Evil Within in five minutes. That's the only way I actually had. That's the only way I got to understand what the fuck was going on in the first Evil Within. But here we go with Evil Within two. It promises to be more scarier. Which holy shit, <laughs> holy fuck! The first one was scary enough. That weird fucking dude with the safe for a head. That like creepy like fucking bitch with the long hair and the five thousand arms. The fucking weird guy with that with the hood that insta kills you if he touches you. Like the first Evil Within two was incredibly scary. I think one of them downfall, one of like the the negative points you were in was the lack of cat like the lack of like emotion for the character. Like the character was very bland. Like, I, I totally forgot his name, but like the guy he plays, he was very bland. Like like his voice lines like, "Huh? What's going on here? What is that?" Like I'm pretty sure if you fell 50,000 feet into a giant puddle of blood, you're not going to be like, "Huh?" What's going on here? You be like, what the fuck? I'm like, what the fuck? Like this guy fucking chainsaw my back, my legs off. What the fuck? Like it was very confusing. But Evil Within 2 promises to fix all that. Promises to have a better character. To have basically have your character not be like a fucking walking, like fucking walk stock photo. To be even scarier and have smoother gameplay, which I really don't. The first Evil Within, the gameplay was fine. Like I love the stealth. I love the whole like stealth. Like you can be stealthy. But then again, like, you know, it pays off being stuffy. So here we go, guys. Without any further ado, let's do Evil Within 2. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, everybody, because you definitely don't want to miss out on this. You definitely don't want to miss out on the jump scares. So load game. I only have a game to load, unless I can load in, like, the first Evil Within. Start new game. Douche. So I wonder, do we still play after the attack? Like, I've seen a lot of, like, the trailers, but I try to stay away from a lot of survival. I want the base survival hall experience. You know, resources, approach the situation with caution, and don't get overconfident. But also, want to experience the story without a struggle. Well, you know, I guess a oh, record players who enjoy the difficulty of previous. Oh fuck no! Aim assist. Uh, for experienced players. Yeah, fuck no. We're ha we're having that shit on. We're having that shit on. Oh. oh what the fuck? Already, so basically, Evil Within 2 is like a great like you can you could call it Silent Hilly. It has it has very it has a lot of Silent Hilly moments and feel to it. It, it feels like a Silent Hill. It really does feel like a Silent Hill game. And you and you'll see why. Like if this is if this has like a lot of the features, a lot of like the themes and like sequences from the first Evil Within game. This like oh, what the fuck? Chapter one. No. Into the flame. No. No, this is not. Oh, happening. Sebastian! That was his name, Sebastian. There we go. That was his name. I thought it was, for some reason I thought it was like, you know, ha, ha, like with an H. I thought it was like Hall, Hall something. I thought it was like Ho something. Oh fuck! My house! Oh shit! My house on fire! No! My stuff! Oh god, Lily! Oh god, Lily! And my stuff! Oh shit! My stuff! Come on, the fuck! Oh my lord! My stuff! Come on! Come on! Come on! Ugh, come on. Oh shit! Oh, I'm the expensive door! Shit! My door! That shit was. That shit was expensive too. I think I go home depot for my shit? Fuck that! Uh, come a class, yeah. bitch! Break it down! Oh, there we go. Yeah, break it down. Oh, fuck that window. Window was cheap. Lily! <laughs> Lily! Uh, is my you? stuff okay? Oh, God, is she upstairs? Fuck. Oh, shit. My shit's upstairs, too. Fuck. Lily! Keep an eye on my stuff! Make sure another bird! Should you be getting on the ground, dude? Like, I'm pretty sure one thing I learned happened. when I was a kid about if there's a house fire is that you want to stay on the fucking ground. Ugh! Lily! Grab my stuff! It's expensive! No. I'll help you once you get my stuff! I'm coming, Lily! Just hold on! Yeah, just hold on! Hold on to my stuff, too! I, I, I got expensive shit there. I work hard for my shit. I work hard for that! I'm here, Lily! I'm here! 
Oh, crouch. Ugh. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I should stay crouched. That's, like, a lot better to be in the fire. Like, if you're in the fire, you want to stay down. Ugh. Lily? Lily, what the fuck? Did she jump out the window? Come on out. Lily, where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. Wait, wait, Gaffney, Gaffney. You are here for me, Dad. Wait. Oh, no, no, Gaffney. What the fuck? Oh, fuck, Silent Hill Ghost? Triple take. Uh, uh, uh. Kidman. Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that force shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me... about Mobius. <laughs> I'm here because of this. Lily's still alive. <gasps> Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. Oh, shit. Sebastian? You're awake. Oh, Good. Of course I am. Yeah. Yeah. You Great. bitch. Where are we? Where are we? Huh? The fucking You're up. in one of our oh, facilities. Dude, that, there's so another this is wheelchair the segment. Mobius, huh? Great. Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex cop to help oh, them. No. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Yeah. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Where's Lily? Patience. Uh, who's who's All pushing me? All your answers uh. are right here. So. Oh, seriously? This bullshit again? Really? Well, <laughs> the people with that, so. The incident was an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved stem system. Oh, fuck. Fine, hook me up. Let's do the shit. What does this have to do with my daughter? 
Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. It's your choice. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you ready? Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. STEM entry in three, two, one. And now you, in this moment, Sebastian knew he fucked up. Whoa. Okay, yeah, this is not creepy. The evil within, too. God, this is totally not creepy. We totally didn't know this is evil within. See, yeah, Kidman, the funny thing about Kidman is that in the first evil within, we thought that she was just like a junior detective. But turns out she's actually like a secret agent. She's basically like Ada Wong. She's like a secret agent working for an evil, shady organization called Mobus. And that was basically it. Like, Mobus is basically like is a brother this? corporation. We'll put it that way. Where am I? What's this? Huh? Spritty, consume stamina. <sighs> yeah, so I don't think. Yeah, I know, I know, uh, consume stamina in the last game, but I think in the last game there was a stamina meter. This one, I don't think there is one either. God help me! Gobin! Go with my stuff! Come on, 
Oh, fair. Oh, oh, f oh. I know it's hard to accept, Myra. What the fuck? But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No. no. I'll never accept it. Never accept you it. won't help me. I'll find out the truth on my own. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck was that? What the hell is this place? Ah, oh, shit, the light! Detective, we've got a call. This is from the first evening event. The first evil event. The call from Beacon Mythos. That's where it all started. Oh, fucking light. Fucking blinding. Oh, I'm blinded by light. Oh, desk. Time to go to work. Huh? The radio. Uh, ring a ding ding. Hello. Hello, whoa, whoa. See, I told you, Silent Hill. It has a very Silent Hilly vibe, I swear. It really is like a Silent Hill like vibe. Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. What the fuck? Whoa. What? Snap out What's of it, going on here? You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? Um... Nope, nothing, nothing really seems out of place, really. Everything... Oh, like this. There we go. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Have you seen me? No, I haven't seen you. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Wait, so th this like oh chapter two already? Wow, holy shit! So are these like side missions? Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. Yeah, because I'm what seriously. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. Oh. You know, canvas the area. Just like you taught me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's try to do some detecting anyway, okay? <laughs> if they have... This would be a search team members within the STEM lean file. Okay, yeah, so I thought these were side missions. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all, we're all stuck, stuck in inside STEM. STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Whoa. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Yeah, seriously. Dating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise, she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Yeah, I got that part. Let's, let's investigate you. Hoffman. Psychology and surveillance. Huh. This one could so, be cagey. So, team medic, I see. Ugh, oh, what about you? What, what, where, who are you? Sykes. Software Tech. Program. At least he has some arms small see. arms training. So you're the, he's a programmer. Like, you're like the te engineer technician. How about you? Why are you? O'Neill. Oh, oh, so, oh, yeah. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. Yeah, so basically, another one. Engineer, basically. Kind of like an engineer, dude. How about you? Harrison. Combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. Combat specialist, equipment repair. So basically, like, you know, again, engineer. But, you know, kind of like, no, like a heavy. Put that way, a heavy. Baker. Team, the team leader. Engineer. So He's the, the commando, should basically. Try to find first. So basically, it's Pando. All right, so you got, we got this. 
Anything else? Just gotta get like a knife, a gun. If I, if I know this one, uh, if I know this game, we're gonna be doing some really, really spooky shit. It was burned up along with everything else in the house. Ugh, no. Ugh, gosh, this must suck. Investigate. My first commendation. Feels like another lifetime. I guess because it was. Yeah, I'm not a cop anymore. Not who I am. Because I'm Batman. <laughs> I mean, I'm Sebastian. Open up. Alright, so we're, in a, we're in basically a police detective. So, can I get a gun, please? Can I please get a gun? The cat. Um, I don't ever remember owning a cat. Um, Maybe he's a messenger. Well, to you too. Hmm. Slide projector. Huh? Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? Probably. <laughs> Pre-phone camera error. <sighs> Operate projector. Alright, so let's see what we can find. Uh, Alright. Let's watch the movie, guys! Change slide. Oh. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. Oh, wow. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? Because you're you manipulate bitch. me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. Oh. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Wow. So that's it? Wow, okay, I guess that's... Oh, the jar, the jelly thing! Oh, this is, this is, this is, so this is how we get upgrades, guys. The green gel. Yeah, so in the last one, Thanks, you collect Jimmy. green gel, and then you go to, like, in the main hub. Like, there's, like, a main hub area where you go to the main hub, sit in some weird electric chair thing. And then that's how you get your um, that's how you get your equipment upgrade. You sit in the green chair, and use the green gel, and like Should get your equipment out. upgrade. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? I know, right? F save terminals. Oh, so I can save. Oh yes. <laughs> so it's basically like fucking alien isolation. You gotta hook that shit up there. Okay, slot one. All right then. Ugh. All right, that's all saved and good. Alright, before I touch that, anything else down here? Alright. Right, let's go! Investigate! Here we go again. Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Into the looking glass. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let me walk a little closer to the light! Oh, chapter two, something not quite right. Oh, shit. I got a feeling we're gonna fight our first enemies here. I got a feeling! We're gonna see some enemies. Ooh. Ooh, I'm not ready for this. I mean, I'm pretty. I, mean, I was good. When it comes to stealth in the first Evil Within, I was pretty good. Like I was, I was decent. Like I got the carousel, the the whole carousel like sequence. I managed to fully stealth that, and that was, I think, one of the easiest stealth oh, parts. No. <laughs> Lily, what's wrong? My doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Hey. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you all right? I've got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Oh, what's well, uh, I'm coming down with the fucking plot hole bullshit. I'm coming down with the plot holes. What the fuck? Oh man, 
Damn, back here. Whoa, back away from there. Oh. Um. Is this the right place? I hope so. Oh, what the fuck? Thought PT? Um. <laughs> I just have my fist. I... Okay, so that's the flashlight. Okay, can I, can I punch it? Can I punch things? Open up! Whoa. Whoa, uh uh. What the? Oh. I forgot how to run. Oh, there we go. I'm about to say, like, I totally forgot how to run. For a second there, I literally forgot how to run. Before I do that, let me look around here. Let me, oh, never, never mind. Never mind. What the fuck? Um. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Sound of the hill. I swear, I swear, I swear this game should really, like, be, like, no, should really, instead of calling Evil Within, just call it Silent Hill. Because it make a great Silent Hill game, honestly. Talk a flashlight. Okay. Anything here? Um, can I get, can I please get a weapon or something? A knife? A gun? Preferably a gun? <laughs> like, I don't know, flamethrower? Machine gun? Magnum? A thing? What are you saying? Why do you whoa? That's one of the search team. Baker. So the back of his head exploded. So uh did he, so is he dead, like, actually dead, like, in, is he just, is he actually dead, or is the game just fucking with us? <laughs> can I not, can I not, can I not touch him? I'm gonna near him. Ugh, I want his gun! Before I do that shit, before I do that shit, let me just look around. And before I do that shit, let me just look around real quick. Before I touch, because I know, I know exactly if I go uh, get his gun, shit's about to get real. Shit, it's gonna get real. If I go, if I go grab his gun, it's gonna be like, oh, you have a weapon now. I mean, enemies. Anything here? Anything here? No, no, gel. And this, you know. Let's look, remove that. Someone tried to block the way out. We're in. Right. So before I do that, before I operate that, let me check back here for anything. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, file. Oh, sadistic. Whoever did this must have enjoyed it. Oh wait, so they trapped in death limbo, basically. Is he just trapped in like death limbo? Alright, let me. Uh, Alright, so in that case, let me, uh. Let me just get your gun real quick. The team leader. One bullet. Straight through the head. Yeah, I'll do it back to the skull. Hey, can I, can I grab his gun, though? Like. Can I get his gun? Can I get his gun? Like, come on, can I get his gun? That's. That's bullshit. Okay, that's bullshit. Oh, that's bullshit. I would have taken his gun. I would. Have, I would have at least attempted. Like, even if I couldn't get his gun, I would have at least attempted to grab it. So that's gonna be for this part, guys. When we come back, we're gonna be moving up this. We're gonna be moving this fucking bookcase out of the way and find out what's behind here and hopefully, hopefully get a weapon. Cause I do not feel comfortable being in this game without any sort of weapon. I can't. Even, I can't even my fist. I can't even my fist. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I'll be seeing you guys in the next Evil Within 2 film part. Peace out, everyone. Or let's, uh, let's do it while we're in like a slow time destroyer thing. 
Oh, peace out, everyone. And have a marvelous, spectacular, wonderful field day. Somebody knocked over a rupee. <laughs> Where's the rupee? No, don't no, shoot that one. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're slightly off 